Hello! In this brief video we will review the different types of discussion forums that are available on eClass. For a brief list of the different forum types in eClass, please consult the forum settings. For a brief description of each forum type, please click the help icon. The first forum type is the standard forum for general use. It's an open forum where anyone can start a new discussion at any time. This allows for multiple threads to be created by different students. Within a standard forum, users have the ability to add a new discussion topic or to click into pre-existing threads in order to make a reply. Another similar forum type is the standard forum displayed in a blog-like format. Similar to before, all users are able to create a new topic in this forum. However, the initial post in each discussion is freely visible in the front page. In order to reply, users must write in a separate page by clicking Discuss This Topic. One other similar forum type is Each Person Posts One Discussion. Similar to a standard forum, students will be able to create their own discussion thread. However, after creating their first thread, the option to add a new discussion topic goes away. Though they are limited to posting only one thread, students, however, are able to reply to all threads freely. Another variation on the discussion forum in eClass is a single, simple discussion. This is used for discussions on a single subject or topic, and is very productive if you're interested in keeping students focused on a particular issue. The writing prompt that is written by the faculty member in the forum description will be the main thread of the discussion forum, and students will simply need to reply to that post. No other discussion threads will exist in a single, simple discussion. Another unique forum type is the Q&A forum. A feature that sets it apart is that, in a Q&A forum, only the instructor may create the discussion threads. In a Q&A forum, each discussion thread is a question being prompted by the instructor. Students in the course will not be able to create their own discussion threads. However, they can click into the instructor's question in order to answer each prompt. Another significant feature of the Q&A forum is that students will not be able to see their peers' responses until they have replied themselves.